Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video to show you how to get data from an async function like we have on a page right here and use them in synchronous fields such as in text widgets or table data property. So right here we have a get function which makes a request using the get users API and returns a bunch of users. So if I go ahead to run this for example, I have a list of users being returned from the API as shown right here. So you will imagine that I should be able to go execute this function in a text widget or a table data property and have all of the data coming from the API, which is shown on the response right here, displayed in that widget. But it actually does not work that way. So let me show you. Um, I'm just going to go to bring in a table widget and let's try to return all of the data from that function after executing it to the table widget. So you would expect that something like um, users, which is the name of the file, dot get, yeah, users dot get would work, but it actually does not. As you see, we have an empty object being evaluated here. So to actually access the data returned from an async function, which could also be uh, promises, what you need to do is access the dot data property. And here we can see the response returned from the async call to the get users API on the table widget. And when you have a binding like this, such as um, whenever you try to access the data from an async function in a widget, as we have bounded right here, AppSmith is automatically going to execute the function for you and even do that on page load. So now you know about this, um, go ahead to use it.